Georgia Tech running back Jameer Gibbs has entered his name into the transfer portal. One of the most criminally underrated running backs in all of college football. Maybe one of the most underrated players in general in college football has entered his name into the portal. And I think whoever gets him is going to get a incredible back who has great speed, the ability to create space, and someone that can add an instant starter, instant impact player to their program. First, we're going to start with Florida. Florida recruited him out of high school and with Billy Napier coming in he's going to look for a way to get a fresh start with his program get some bodies in to compete running back hasn't been always a strength for Florida it's not like they have you know these go-to guys that are going to just uh, kill it Uh, so adding a Jameer Gibbs would be a great addition to this program I think that it's an open competition right now at running back and Jameer Gibbs would definitely be in the running for that starting position Plenty of uh, opportunities for him to get the football as well. You know, we saw what he did against at Georgia Tech, I should say, and it wasn't pretty. He didn't have the best blocking in front of him, and you know, now that he would have guys that could potentially open some running lanes for him, he wouldn't have to do as much work, and that could be even more explosive uh, results if you get them get him those opportunities. Next up, North Carolina. I think if he wants to stay in the ACC, North Carolina would be a good fit uh, it depends on sam howell to be honest if sam howell is even like unsure if he's wavering on what he's going to do i think that jameer gibbs will look elsewhere but if howell comes out and says nope i'm staying and Howell will probably be in on the recruiting of jameer gibbs to get him to come here because that's a great pairing it, it, that's a top top 10 top five even pairing uh, it probably one of the you know you can make an argument that would be the best pairing in college football Working with Phil Longo is great. We saw what he's been able to do with running backs like Ty Chandler, like Michael Carter, Javante Williams, and I think that Jameer Gibbs would have a career season, a monster season, if he joined Tar Heels. Next up, TCU with with Zach Evans already leaving, uh, or you know, there's still a chance that he might go back, but this obviously just depends on if Evans is for sure leaving. Even with guys like Kendry Miller still on the roster, I think that Jameer Gibbs would be a great addition to Sonny Dykes' offense here. That's a great position to be in if you're Jameer Gibbs. That would be somewhere where you could really thrive. We saw what Sonny Dykes did with Ulysses Bentley, even the, just the other SMU running backs like the TJ McDaniels, uh, the Ryan Levines, even Trey Siggers this year. You saw what he could do, and Jameer Gibbs could have that same impact. Going to the Big 12 where offense has been the highlight for the most part, the running back position is relatively open with Dykes coming in, and he gives them the speed that they need at that position to be able to make big plays, and that's what Sonny Dykes loves about his running backs is to be able to make big plays and not just throwing the ball. Another ACC team I like is Florida State. It probably is unlikely, but joining Mike Norvell's system, I think that he's a good fit there. Like I said, he stays in the ACC, and you get a chance to play on a team that is heading in the right direction. They're trending upwards, and Mike Norvell knows how to coach an offense. That's a, a program that has a ton of talent on the offense. And, uh, you know, he does, he would have to be with Jay Sean Corbin. And I think that that's a good one to punch. It's just a matter of does Gibbs want to be the guy or does he want to just join a program where he's going to have the most success, whether he's the only guy or if he's sharing a backfield with somebody else. Then, last one, this is not out of the question. I think that maybe. When he was coming out of high school, it wasn't very necessarily the most attainable goal, which is Alabama. Joining a dynasty coming out of high school probably wasn't an option for Jameer Gibbs, but I think it's definitely in the cards right now. I think that Alabama is going to go after Zach Evans pretty hard, so Jameer Gibbs might not be their first choice. So that's going to be something that will be interesting to see how much he weighs that. Alabama is going to need a new starter, so adding a guy like Jameer Gibbs would be a phenomenal way to do that. I think that he is built for the SEC just because he he's not he's not going to be super physical in terms of like running guys over and whatnot. Jameer Gibbs has the speed to compete 
in the SEC. I think that he is an incredible talent who is super quick, like I said, can create space at will. If you watch any of his clips from Georgia Tech, you would see that he does a lot of work to be able to make some of these four, five, and six-yard runs happen. Shoot, even a one-yard run sometimes is just a ton of work. But joining a team like Alabama would give him a ton of space to run. He'd be able to show that he can compete with the best, and that would be huge for his draft stock. Where do you guys think Jameer Gibbs is going? I'm not really sure where he's going to end up. It could be maybe someone outside of these five schools. Where do you guys think he's going to go? Make sure you comment below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more college football content.